Salt Lake City has set, put together this uh, climate positive, which is one of our you know, premier projects and the thing that we are most proud of. The whole idea behind it is what can we do to reach our goals to reduce our carbon emissions and do our part to ensure that we're trying to stop climate change to at least as much as possible. So we have a few major goals. First one is that we're going to have 50% of all the city's energy from the electricity from renewables by 2020. And we're working with Rocky Mountain Power right now, putting out a, an RFP so people can offer us you know, the renewables. And it's, a, it's gonna be a great project. It's a consortium, it includes some other cities also and universities and a couple ski areas. Second thing we're doing is longer term, we're finding a uh, legislative fix so that Rocky Mountain Power can provide renewable energy for all of Salt Lake City. And we can actually purchase that on behalf of our residents. And then the last thing is we have an 80% overall reduction of all carbon emissions. And that's the hard one because now we're starting to look at fossil fuels, both in your cars, and also in your heating, because natural gas is a direct emitter of carbon as people burn in their businesses and homes. Cars aren't going to, you know, there is a way to solve the vehicles because of electric cars, and there's a lot of new options coming out. You see people working on hydrogen vehicles and, you know, some things that are, you know, a few years ago we'd say this was science fiction, but it's actually now happening. Cities around the nation are all stepping up. You know, we've said that we may not have federal leadership, but cities can get this done. So Salt Lake City was the 16th in the nation to set these aggressive climate goals. And you know, now there are over 200. And these are anything from New York City and you know, your really big metropolis down to the, a lot of smaller cities. Um, we really believe that if we can make this work in larger cities, then we can influence the states we're in, which I think is happening. And we even see that here in Utah, that now even our state legislature is beginning to accept the science behind climate change and understanding that we're going to have to take some really aggressive action to try and minimize it. And then eventually, that we hope the pressure will get to the federal level so we can take some you know, nationwide action to help reduce the risks of what we're already seeing today. Climate change and air quality go together, you know, hand in hand fairly much. And we know that the people who are most harmed by bad air are people who are usually in the lower income neighborhoods. We really want to work with them to help them with you know, energy efficiency. Can we help them make their homes more energy efficient so they save money and aren't you know, needing to use as much natural gas. You know, what can we, you know, we're working with them to ensure that, you know, they aren't affected by climate. And climate change is gonna be something where everything that happens is really gonna cost people in one way or another, be it damage to a home or, you know, if they're finding that they need more air conditioning. And so the lower income neighborhoods or people who aren't as affluent are gonna be affected in a greater way. So to learn more about our Climate Positive 2040 goals and clearing the air, go to www.slcgreen.com.